jumping in to answer Sarah's question. So she's asking about being in this really hard place, right? In the depths of chronic illness, stuckness, sleep issues, depression, and feeling like, you know, I'm doing everything I can to crawl out of it. And I don't doubt that one bit. I'm sure you are trying so many different things. And I remember you actually posting it on maybe another free coaching thread, all the things that you had tried and all the things that you were doing. And it seemed like a lot. And you said, um, I know my thoughts and beliefs are powerful, yet I haven't been able to harness them. So I have a couple thoughts and I will like disclaimer, uh, what I would love to do is like take you through a full healing session and uh, dissect a little bit of this in a way that helps empower us and educate us and form us on what a potential uh, underlying commitment, secondary gain, limiting belief, uh, past memory held in your body, like if any of that might be going on. But because I don't have you live on the other side of this call, I'm just going to talk about the ex to the extent that I can talk about it, which when what jumps out to me about this is the do. So when you are doing, 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 making that appointment, um, doing the CPAP treatment, uh, going to, uh, I, I was just seeing what if you said any other specific treatments that you were doing in this post, uh, it just says like treatments, energy energy treatments. So when you are doing and you are scheduling and you are eating the right foods and you are doing the meditation and you are doing the journaling and you are doing the EFT tapping and you're doing the hypnosis and you're doing the NLP and you're doing blah, 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 right? When we get into that cycle of do, 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 well, that is the pathway to being stuck. So when we think of the creative cycle, and that parallels the manifestation cycle, what you desire, it's be, do, have, be, do, have, be, do, have. And that's something that I'm actually going to be talking about tomorrow in my free workshop around conscious abundance because so many of us get stuck in the do, especially high achievers, especially people who are driven and they want to see results. And what do we think is going to give us results? Do. And then we think, okay, if I do, then I get to have, do, have, do, have, do, have. And it disrupts the more natural flow of that cycle within our existence, with our, within our life. And so my suggestion to you, like I said, I'd love to go deeper with you, but would be really focusing back on the B and looping that cycle. So if you are stuck in this um, kind of uh, 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 broken record feeling of do have, do have, do have, that you reincorporate the B, which is the embodiment. It's the pause. It's the debriefing. It is the, it's the being. So B, do, have, B, do, have. What could this look like in your life? Well, if Instead of going straight into the treatments that, you know, are saying they're going to help you, have been proven to be effective to treat, you know, sleep issues, for example, or get people out of depression or depressive thoughts. Instead of going right into the do, how much time are you taking to be in the be? Where you're not just doing the meditation or doing the treatments, but you're in embodying the energy of that which you desire. Being to me is also opening yourself up to creative solutions. It's this like, to me, it's like the floaty part above our head. And then it drops into the do, which is our conscious mind making a plan. And then it drops into our hands. If nope, now it's tangible, I completed it, or I got some result, whether it's the one I wanted or not. And you flip it back up to like up here in top of your head of like, all right, now that I completed that, oop, B, B energy, embodiment energy, embody deep healing, embody possibility, embody hope that you can heal, embody that feeling of breaking through a plateau, embody the energy of joy or whatever it is the opposite of depression for you, embody the energy of health instead of chronic illness or symptoms, physical symptoms that you're experiencing. 
And through that visualization, that creative expression of that embodiment in your life, then you open yourself up to uh, different solutions in order to do. We still need the do, but the issue becomes when the do gets like a broken record, a er 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 feeling, and then we get stuck. And like you said, there's a stuckness you're experiencing. So we got to flip that have back up to the be so that there's more embodiment of your desire versus just doing the thing that's going to get you your result. Okay. So it looks like you just hopped on. I recommend you listen from the beginning, but I'd love to get your feedback, Sarah, on how that feels for you after you go through the whole recording and uh, just feel into whether you're experiencing the be as much as the do have, do have, do have in your creative cycle and manifestation cycle in your life, but in all of our lives. You guys, a lot of people are listening right now, and I just want to say that we all have this cycle, not just Sarah, not just that Sarah, not just me, Sarah, but we all have this and it's so common for us to get stuck in that do have, um, repetition versus the B pop it back up, catch it in the B above the head. Let it, let it be there. Like just let yourself be in that space of possibility. All right. That's all for now.